All right, everyone, another Mad Dog EDC video. I'm coming at you here from the tabletop, and I wanted to talk to you about something that we've had for a little over two months now, and just kind of, I gave my first impressions on it, and I haven't really done much. You've seen it pop up in some shorts. You've seen it pop up in some EDC uh, pictures, but I haven't really talked about it much since. And that is the Leatherman Arc. Um... It's now been a little over two months. October 17th was the release for this tool. It took the multi-tool world by storm by releasing this Magna Cut blade and having these uh, really, what is this, beautiful black and stainless steel handles. Um, like I said, it was kind of uh, innovative just because of the fact that it did have Magna Cut. But beyond that, uh, there really isn't anything too special about this over the regular free P2 or P4. Um, some of your inside tools have changed. They did a couple uh, changes with some stuff. You don't have all of the flat drivers that you do on the regular free series. You lose the hole in the all. Um, <clears throat> you have the um, bit adapter, of course. Uh, so th there's, there's some uh, definite changes here, but overall you're basically looking at what is essentially a free P2, P4, somewhere in that, um, somewhere in that vicinity. Now, I carried this for, I really, I, I didn't make it a full month. Honestly, I didn't make it a full month carrying this tool. I went right back to my Leatherman Surge. Um, it just, I'm a fan of the Surge. I can't help it. It's, uh, to me, it's a much more stable platform. I do not like the just janky, loose, cheap feeling of the Free Series. I much prefer having a more solid tool to uh, get my hand around. I definitely think this is a much more comfortable tool. And then the tool set is better, in my opinion. Um, the scissors on the Leatherman Surge are far and above the scissors of the Free Series. You can see the size comparison there. Um, overall like the the springiness of them uh the size of them I, I think these shears do a lot better cutting than these do these are kind of wimpy they're not very thick so it just these shears seem to outperform these for me in the instances and the things that i'm cutting with these uh now i treated this arc when i was carrying it for work as you know as hard as i would treat anything else I really didn't uh, take it easy on it. I really didn't. Uh, there, it was no holds barred, I can tell you that. Um, this, when I was carrying it, replaced my Leatherman Surge. And at the same time, it also replaced my Spider Go Shaman uh, or whatever uh, pocket knife I would happen to be carrying at the time because I wanted to give this Magna Cut Blade a try. Now, I found out of the box this Magna Cut Blade was not very sharp. And I did not put my own edge on it at the time. And in fact, I still have not put my own edge on this uh, on this blade. Um, I, I didn't do it because I wanted to see how long this thing would last. And it held up okay. The edge did uh, for the week, two weeks that I had it in my pocket. But it really wouldn't have lasted too much longer um, than that. I put it in that position on my EDC because I knew that if I had it over on my left-hand side... I would constantly be going to my right pocket to grab that dedicated folder, and then um, I would not be giving this the test that it truly deserves. So I had this over in my right pocket in the place of my folder, and then I was just able to pull it out, and we had our blade. Overall, it is a solid multi-tool. Overall, it, it um, mine was really tight out of the box in the pivot, and it still hasn't really loosened up. Again, I haven't given it much uh, effort in that regard either. I normally only carry this um, for like a more dressy or EDC or casual EDC, going out on the town, going to church, things like that. I don't carry my surge. I'll slap this in just because it's smaller and I normally pocket carried it with this right here. Uh, but it is a lot tighter. Um, but what really bugged me was you can see all that movement in it there. I am not a fan of that. I do not like the way that that feels. I think it is just loose, cheap, and janky. Um, that's about the best way that I can describe it. You don't have as much movement here in something like the Leatherman Surge. Now, when it comes to something like the Signal, you're going to have a little bit of movement, 
but and I'm I'm really twerking on this right here. Even that is not as much as the arc. And that whole loose, cheap feeling, I mean, I kind of feel like I'd be able to go buy an Ozark Trail that would have tighter tolerances than what this thing has. Um, it's just not, it just doesn't scream solid quality to me. Uh, like some of the other Leatherman tools do. And I've had this issue with the Free Series all the way. The free, the P2, the P4, this, um, the 40th anniversary uh, was the exact same. Of course, it's pretty much the same tool as this Leatherman Arc right here, just with a different color uh, configuration and the adjustable plier uh, pivot. So, th um, my first impressions, having used it, haven't really changed as a matter of fact they still say stay about the same um i'm still just kind of underwhelmed as usual with the uh free series of leatherman now leatherman does appear to be appear to be married to this free series and i think that this is what we're going to see from them from now on um until they're able to come up with something different i don't imagine i, I would i'm like everyone else i would love to see a premium surge come out Let's replace the uh, 420HC blade with a magnet cut blade. Let's do away with the um, scales here. And let's build, basically let's take the Leatherman Surge and make a Surge sized charge plus. So that we can have the Surge heads, we have all the tools from the Surge. But we're able to swap the scales out, and we've got different scales. We can go with titanium, we can go with G10, we could go with um, micarta. Uh, I've seen some aftermarket micarta scales for the charge that just look absolutely fantastic. Um, I'd love to see Leatherman come out with something like that, but I, I really don't think they're going to do that. I really think that we'll end up seeing something like this implemented into that. And... It's honestly kind of disappointing to uh, see. Now, that's pretty loose in the handle right there. But that goes away when we're here. I know that's just breaking it in. Um, but, I mean, I've got that nice drop open on my surge. Of course, it's been broken in. But, yep, that's my... Uh, impressions on the Leatherman Arc, having uh, carried it as a dedicated multi-tool and replacing my folder for somewhere around a week and a half to two weeks before I finally just said I've had enough and I went back to the Surge, um, and then just carrying it as a more casual EDC. Do I enjoy it as a casual EDC? Absolutely. I do like ha I do like it for that. It rides well in my belt or in my pocket. I think it is a fantastic multi-tool for that. Um, however, for me personally and in my line of work, I just don't really like it for a heavy-duty multi-tool. I see it more kind of being more along the lines of a wave. Um, now, don't get me wrong. The wave is a fantastic multi-tool. I'm not trying to knock it. I would have a wave. Um, if the surge didn't didn't exist, a wave or charge would probably be my EDC, um, even over this right here. Um, I just kind of see this being not really in the heavy-duty multi-tool series, more just in like your everyday carry multi-tools um, your Skeletool, your Wave, your Charge Plus, uh, your Rebar, you know, those, those size, that mid-size EDC. Um, this doesn't replace the, the heavy-duty series of the Surge, the Mutt, the Super Tool 300, um, Super Tools, Super Multi-Tools of that, that size. So, Again, my impressions of the Leatherman Arc. I know I've done kind of a lot of rambling on this here, but I uh, just wanted to get this out while I had the cameras out and while uh, we were set up, and it was sitting right here in front of me. So um, thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, um, like the videos, share the videos if you feel compared to, compelled to. excuse me. And don't forget, we have the uh, companion group over on Facebook, Mad Dog EDC there. Um, we are about 954 members strong over there, but if we get up to a thousand members, we have, 
a pretty decent giveaway that's coming up. I've got um, uh, a Leatherman T2 that we're going to give away. I have several Maxpedition prizes. I have a Gerber Strong Arm to give away, a Coyote Fine Edge Gerber Strong Arm. I have a Hogue um, Mini Infidel Out the Front Knife uh, ready to go. So th there's several prizes there, and I'm reaching out to other vendors and seeing if I can't get some other things uh, going with that. There'll probably be a gift card to KC Tactical. Um, probably be some swag packs from some different things. And uh, who knows, we may even be able to give away a Mad Dog EDC cap in the uh, drawing from the Hat Sauce. I am working on some t-shirts, uh, so those should be available uh, coming up here in the next little bit. Um, they won't be purchased through me. They'll be purchased through another website. Um, we will get a small portion of the proceeds from that, but uh, those will be drop shipped to you, and as well as the caps. The caps can be ordered right now through the Hat Sauce. They are going to run about $30 uh, for that. Uh, I'm not quite sure yet on the T-shirts, but those are Richardson 112 caps. You can check those out on Facebook, on the Facebook group as well, if you want to see how they are. That's going to do it for us now. Again, we appreciate you watching. If you hung out this long, thank you so much. Y'all have a good night. Carry what you want, when you want, and how you want. Take care.